Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my current flawless foundation routine. A couple weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, what, where, what? A couple days ago, I posted a smoky eye, a very basic smoky eye makeup tutorial, and I mentioned in my video that if you guys wanted to see my current flawless foundation routine, to let me know, and a lot of you guys wanted to see what my routine was about. And what I didn't mention, and what I forgot and I should have mentioned was, all of the products that I used for, what I, what I tend to use for my routine is all from the drugstore, except for my primer. The primer that I'm using, I just have a absolute infatuation with, and um, it it's, it's my it's my bay right now so it is what it is <laughs> I do mention in the tutorial what a current awesome drugstore alternative primer is which I do own I just I don't know where it is I know I have like half a bottle of it and it's just floating around somewhere the same thing happened to my carbon black telescopic mascara I swear I had like two of them and I could never I kept losing them and kept misplacing them everywhere and then I would just repurchase it because I can't live without it obviously and then I would find them and then I would have three. It is a great alternative but everything else like I mentioned is all from the drugstore. I show you guys step by step what I do, how I do it and why I do it so if you guys are interested to see the products that I use and how I achieved this foundation look please keep watching. Alrighty guys so the very first thing that I'm going to apply on my face is a primer and the one that lately I have been loving quite a bit and I just feel like it's going to now become like my holy grail primer just because I get such amazing amazing results from and that is from Lancome and it is the La Base Pro primer. These retail for around I want to say $44, $45. A little, a little bit of a splurge, I'm not going to lie, but the result is just so beautiful and the feel of it is very luxurious. So I like to use this only on special occasions. If you're looking for a drugstore primer, which gives you, again, like really great results, but it's not going to break the bank, um, the, I want to say it's from L'Oreal. I could be wrong. I feel like I might be wrong, but it is the Miracle Blur. So I'm going to just take a little bit of this. Um, it's really nice because um, it has a pump on there and it disperses like the perfect amount. Just a pea size is really all you need. And again, with clean hands, you want to make sure you're not applying anything to your face or touching your face with hands that might be sticky or anything like that. Couldn't even imagine. But yeah, make sure your hands are washed. And then I'm going to just take this and then pat and work this into my skin. So whenever I want a very flawless look, whether it's for a net out or for pictures or anything like that, I like to use my Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation. It has awesome awesome coverage. It's like medium to full coverage. It's buildable. It's really inexpensive. I want to say it retails around like five to six dollars in the drugstore. And um, it's very similar to my Colorstay Whipped from Revlon. Very, very similar consistency I feel like. So I just like to squeeze right out of the tube and kind of start patting that all over my face. The only sucky thing about this foundation too is it doesn't have a huge color selection which is such a shame. And I want to say that this foundation for me right now is a little too light. But I'm going to show you guys what I use that's going to kind of counterbalance this very light shade and it's going to blend in with the rest of my body. <laughs> and of all the brushes that I use, um, this one from BH Cosmetics, which is this flat dome brush, this works the best. It's very, very sturdy and it really allows me to work in that foundation and blend it out really, really nicely. So I'm going to take that and just start buffing it right into my skin. to do is take my concealer which is my fit me fit me concealer in the color medium I don't have so much darkness that I want to conceal under my eyes it's mainly to just brighten under the eye area and then just with my finger I'm gonna take that and pat it out And then to set my under eye area, I'm going to be using my Airspun Loose Face Powder, which is my favorite, favorite, favorite translucent powder to use when it comes to setting my foundation or my concealer. It's so inexpensive and it does just such a good job. So I'm going to take just a small little brush just to really get underneath the eye area. This foundation is already very matte, <laughs> so there is no need to really 
set the rest of the foundation it does it just fine on its own so as I mentioned um, this foundation is a little light for my skin complexion summer really got me a nice tan and even though I'm not as dark as I was or that I like to be <laughs> um, I still want to bring a little bit of color back into my life so I like to take my fit me foundation stick in the color coconut and I'm basically going to contour my face I'm hitting my forehead area down my temple into the hollows of my cheek do that and then my jawline and then I'm going to take that and also kind of contour my nose just a little bit and run that on the sides of my nose and on the bottom Every time I do this, I feel like I'm putting on war paint and I'm getting ready to go into battle or something. <laughs> so then I'm going to take a brush like this, very similar to this one, it's not as dense, and I'm going to work out this darker foundation and just blend everything out. And it may seem like a lot of steps to achieve this look, guys, but I promise you it all feels very, very lightweight. Not as lightweight as other foundations that I own, but by no means is it uncomfortable or is it cakey or anything like that. And when blending this out, you want to make sure that you bring the foundation upwards instead of kind of doing it more like this. If not, you're going to make this area look very, very muddy. And we don't want that. We want it to look very defined and contoured. So, And then for my nose, I like to take a little concealer brush. And I'm basically going to do the same thing. I'm going to take that and kind of blend it downwards. And then with my fingers, I like to just kind of blend it out like this. And then I'm taking that initial brush that we used at the very beginning for our foundation and then just helping to kind of blend out. I'm not touching the under eye area because it might smudge and it kind of might mess up that powder that we used earlier. So I don't even touch that area. I just kind of more so work the sides of my nose. So to set that bronzer that we use, I'm going to take this one from Rimmel. It is called Natural Bronzer and it is in the color Sundance and an angled brush, a little contour brush and then just kind of go over the area that we used that darker foundation. And it looks a little harsh, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it looks a little harsh, but we're going to apply our highlight as well as our blush, and then we're going to blend everything out with a brush. <laughs> So for blush, I'm using this one from Wet n Wild, it is called Heather Silk, and taking a blush brush, and these are very pigmented, so use a very, very soft hand with these, but they're so inexpensive and they work so, 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 so good, so I'm going to just apply that to the sides of my cheeks. And then for highlight, I am taking this one from Femme Couture. It is a mineral effects baked bronzer, but it is by no means a bronzer. It is such a beautiful, gorgeous highlight. I have seen in some blogs that it's very comparable to MAC Soft and Gentle. And again, another very inexpensive product to get your hands on. And then I'm going to take that and just apply that to the high points of my cheeks. as well as down my nose, my forehead, and my chin. And then with the same brush, we're going to blend everything out. Alrighty, my loves, well that concludes this current foundation routine tutorial. As always, I hope that this inspired you somehow to go out of your comfort zone and try something different or just try a new product. Thank you as always for taking the time out of your day to stop by my channel. It means the world to me. And also if you want to see more of this craziness, please do subscribe so you get future updates as far as when I post new videos. I will talk to you guys so very, very soon. I love you guys so very much and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Alright. Bye. <laughs>